I come to you in the name of the Lord. Whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There's mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> to the word of God we go. Psalm number 31. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities, and hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength faileth because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintances, that they did see me without and fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They deliver, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest thy voice from my supplications when I cried unto thee. O oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints. For the Lord preserveth the faithful, and plentifully rewardeth the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. The word of God. Amen. Wow, what a powerful, powerful psalm. Wow. David's prayers, man, they are something to emulate. This is encouragement along the way. I pray that you uh, are walking uh, the narrow path, and uh, I pray that you are giving God the glory in all things that you're doing, as that's what my prayer is for my life. And uh, all of you who uh, are walking this narrow way with me, um, I love you, and uh, I'm just so glad that, that we get to have these little moments together. Anyway, let's let's talk about this psalm here. Um, I really like the beginning. Uh, I really love it in the Bible, uh, especially in the Psalms when it says, uh, like in verse four, 
uh, pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Um, the enemy, he, he's, he's going to do things. He's going to use his demons. He's going to use his people who serve him to uh, trip us up. Um, but the Lord will rescue us with his strong, mighty hand and his right arm, his right hand. And um, again, just a, just a reminder that the nets that they have thrown, the snares that they have uh, cast, the pits that they have dug, they will fall into. They will be um, caught in their own wicked devices that they have laid for us. That's a promise. Um, verse number five, into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. That's all one. That's all we can do because God is mysterious. God is greater than us. God knows he, he, he is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Um, he, he, he knows everything. He is everywhere. He, 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 he always has been, always will be. And, uh, he, uh, an interesting thought is he has prepared all of the things that you are going through 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 life before the foundations of the world. He has known them and he has uh, laid this path for you for a reason, for a purpose. Don't think that your life is purposeless. No, the Lord ordained your steps before the foundations of the world. Continuing on. Um, Oh, look, this is good. Verse 15, my times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Yes, they are. These times that we are living in, um, let us not miss our moment. These moments that we are living in, the, the, these have been spe especially ordained by God for us to be living in these tumultuous, uh, turbulent times, to say the very least. Um, as a radio host I like to listen to, he says, let us not miss our moment. This is our moment. Let us, let us seize it for the Lord and give him glory. Um, verse 19 and 20. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of, the, of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Man, that is so encouraging to me. Um, I know people have given me um, uh, well, let, uh, unkind looks and uh, spoken unkind things of me behind my back, and um, I've been around. I've had to be around them for uh, you know, quite uh, for an amount of time, and uh, it, it wasn't pleasant to be honest, but you know what? Um, the Lord is my strength, and I found my peace in the Lord, and uh, my prayers were uh, enhanced, and the peace of God fell on me all the more. Hmm. Do you serve the Lord, or do you serve men? Lastly, I'd like to go to the last verse. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Self-explanatory. To today's hymn we go. This is another Christmas hymn, Silent Night, Holy Night, based off Luke 2, verse 16, which says, And they found Mary and Joseph and the baby. Silent night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, and shepherds quake at thy sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hope. 
host sing alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, Radiant beams from thy holy face, With the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Amen. I'd like to end by reading a short span in uh, the book of Isaiah. Um, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. With righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Sole Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, glory to God in the highest, glory to God forever and ever. In Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name I pray. I pray that you've been encouraged. Amen.